with additional energy. Um, it should be enough energy to actually do a fungal growth. So we may see a lot of uh, fungal growth coming up here. And just now, an, an additional two geysers coming up. And once again, pooping creep tumors all over the map. Spooping creep and spawning creep tumors just everywhere. Like, look at this. He's got four creep tumors right here. Why? I don't know why, but hey, if it works, it works. Um, like you can see here, he's got the whole road between him and his bait, or him and his enemy, just covered in creep. So his units are gonna are gonna go so fast. And he, the the biggest thing is, he gets to see sight of all of this. So maybe that's why. He maybe he just wants sight of the whole map and just wants complete and dominant map control. And whatever he's doing, he's doing it very well as Straylock is confined to his base. Uh, Income-wise, we're looking at 43 harvesters to 39, but Straylock actually has a better income. Although with all this map control, and now that this gold expansion's getting up and running and just going to get saturated right away, uh, TLO's income should skyrocket. Getting a fourth base up now here in the 9 o'clock position for TLO. Wow, I'm just I'm blown away by this this play ventral sacks now coming in for uh, TLO are we gonna see some kind of doom drop and more and more Queens he's got two more Queens producing out of here although he could be producing it out of here no hive tech yet I kind of did expect to see hive since he is going very zergling heavy and to get the adrenal glands scan coming down for uh, stray lock on TLO's main base gonna be able to see those uh, yeah, evolution chambers and the infestation pit, but no hive tech. So both players just somewhat macroing up right now. Straylock trying to get a hold on his base, um, putting up a bunch of siege tanks and marines. Raven out in the field now. This is going to be very key in order to take out a lot of these uh, creep tumors. These four creep tumors here not spreading creep could probably go two this way, two that way, or even one up here, one that way, and then who knows. I guess he could even poop creep right here and then start putting creep tumors up here. I mean, that would just be devastating if if uh, Straylock wasn't paying attention. Auto turret being put down here in the gold natural expansion. I don't know how he knew about that or saw it, but uh, he did. And uh, looks like add-on complete here for... must have been the factory. Another command center coming up, probably to fly away, maybe to the 12 o'clock natural or the 12 o'clock main. I don't know. Uh, still here from TLO, all we see is a mass number of zerglings, um, seven control rows, and uh, we've got some infestors here with damn near full energy. While the two are pretty close, the other ones do have enough for fungal growth, so we'll see what happens. And it looks like we've got an infester here, and he did put a plague goo, so uh, fungal growth here on some of these marines. So fairly devastating on that, as he does not have any medevacs up in the air yet. Although he is training two now, just as I uh, put my foot in my mouth. Fourth base up and running here now for TLO. Uh, probably start to get that saturated. And looks like there are Zerglings here to fend off any more uh, attacks from uh, the Ravens and Auto Turrets. Scan coming down here, and ooh hoo hoo Just a, an amazing fungal growth here on all of those Marines. Half of them had already been hit by a fungal growth. So he did get, uh, looks like, 16 kills so far on that one infester. He's an assassin and making great use of this burrowing. I, I just love the way TLO plays. You do not see this enough in high-end plays. Look, he, he's taking advantage that Straylock has no turrets and no detector in these corners, and he's just going to walk into this base, and he's probably going to fungal growth all of these SCVs. He's got enough for two fungal growths. This could be devastating, and we are going to see a doom drop. Um, of course, Straylock does see this coming, and TLO is going to see this second base coming in, uh, trying to take out as many of these creep tumors as he can. But uh, this doom drop is going to be very effective, I think, as all these units are going to have to come in and funnel under this or into this narrow choke point, not dropping them here at the at the uh, edge. Um, Pooping out some creep could probably uh, pump or probably do a creep tumor up there, but unloading all of these zerglings, which are upgraded, I think two two, yes two two right now, and uh, they're just in here doing just working over Straylock's base. This can't be good news. I honestly don't know how you could come back from this. The dominance on the ground here and the map control is just fantastic, 
uh, for TLO. Such an unorthodox strategy here with Zerglings and Infestors and uh, Creep Tumors. I mean, he's got Creep Tumors everywhere. He can see so much of the map right now. And yeah, anyways, this Infestor is still here. All these SCVs are at 9 or 8 health. Oh, one more Fungal Growth and he could have killed a ton of them. Or if he would have just funneled in some Zerglings here and killed them off. Oh, what's we seeing here? Doesn't have enough energy, but he did unburrow. We'll uh, keep an eye on him and see what happens. We've got another seven infestors here, and this one just sitting here taunting. And these uh, Zerglings now did come in and uh, kill off all these SCVs. Probably needs to burrow here and uh, save his energy, as there's no more use for a fungal growth right now. As he, I guess he could fungal growth these uh, uh, mules, but that uh, infestor doesn't get taken out. Able to micro him just in, nick, in the nick of time against these Thors. And a bunch of Infestors here. Uh, Plaguewood the Raven. And we are seeing a Planetary Fortress being morphed in. And we've got now nine Infestors on the field. Couple of more uh, Overseers coming up. And now we actually have two Roach Warrens and a Hydra Den and an Ultralisk Cavern. Sweet. I hope we see some Ultras this game. That would be just epic. We are now seeing as well a uh, Neural Parasite being upgraded. Of course, that does need to be upgraded in the building now. And uh, I'm not sure what that Infestor was doing there, but he did get slaughtered by the Planetary Fortress, having already seven kills. So keeping up with his map control, he's probably going to want to take out this Planetary Fortress as, as fast as possible. Of course, he's still working off just four base, but uh, we've got uh, Straylock, and he did. He fungal growth these mules. So that is just a hurtful, hurtful attack. Uh, causing them to be stuck for uh, a number of seconds out of their 90 unit or 90 second uh, lifespan is just terrible. And of course we've got more Overseers coming in and we are going to see um, Infested Terrans? I don't know. No, Contaminate. We are seeing him actually utilize Contaminate. So 75 energy. Um, not sure how effective it was. It stops him from producing SCVs. But it doesn't stop him from... Oh, what the heck? It's not stopping him from producing SCVs. That must be a bug. I don't know. But uh, this Planetary Fortress is in the red now. It is burning. You could probably just back these roaches out and let it burn to death as it is going to die as he compl or continues to develop complete and utter map control right now. Moving in a bunch more Zerglings, taking out these SCVs. A couple roaches still here, Infestors. He's going to clean this up. And we do have um, the Chitinous Plating out now for the um, Ultras, so he is upgrading them. We hopefully will see them. He's got three, three upgrades on his melee, so Zerglings and uh, Ultras. We see the army of Straylock here pushing out. He's at 67 out of 126, and we've got TLO at 159 out of 168. So the first two games in this matchup were extremely close, back and forth matchups uh, with TVT. But now that it's TVZ, I feel like Zerg is probably TLO's best race that I've seen him play. And he's just using this unorthodox strategy to completely dominate Straylock. And now, yeah, to put insult to injury, uh, neuroparasiting all these Thors and Siege Tanks. And Straylock is going to GG out of the game. So, yes, TLO does advance to the, um, to the finals. So he's going to be playing, I don't know who but yet, but uh, we will find out sooner or later. Straylock will fall down into the uh, third and fourth place match, and he could still take home third place. Uh, there is a prize pool, of course. I'll get more information on that for you. It can also be found on glhf.it, or I think there is a link on goodtogame.com. So anyways, yeah, TLO takes this series uh, two games to one. And uh, I'll bring you the next round of four matchup as soon as I get the replays.